Most of us have owned a cat or dog in our lifetime, but if you're considering purchasing a bird or exotic pet, watch the following. About 60% of U.S. households own a pet. Most are cats or dogs, but others owned are much more unusual pets like tarantulas, hedgehogs, or snakes. Over the years, fads in animal ownership can go in and out of style like bell-bottom trousers. Must-have pets have run the gamut from alpacas to Zambezi parrotfish. Owning an alternative type of pet can be fun, but can also spell disaster for the animal as well as the owner. One person's pest is another person's prize. Ask a rancher about prairie dogs, and they'll tell you they're the scourge of the range. But city slickers were willing to spend large sums of money for these furry little creatures. They didn't know much about them, other than they were cute, and everybody else seemed to have one. The problems associated with owning alternative types of pets can be many. Exotic pets can transmit diseases that otherwise are extremely rare. Remember monkeypox? A few years ago, there were 87 suspected cases of monkeypox that affected people in six different states. The Centers for Disease Control surmised that all of the cases were due to contact with prairie dogs that contracted the disease after being exposed to Gambian giant rats. The rats were imported from West Africa, where the disease is common. It's not just our own health that we need to be concerned with. Health care for our exotic pets may also be in jeopardy. Though veterinarians are trained in caring for all creatures, great and small, a guinea pig is not a small cat, and a sugar glider is not a mouse. Even birds are pets that some veterinarians don't necessarily feel comfortable treating. Another concern regarding exotic pets is their impact on the environment. Several years ago, the federal government ceased importation of many species of reptiles. At the time, every snake and lizard found in a pet store represented a very small percentage of the number that were captured in the wild. Besides the decimation of numerous species, the ecosystem from which they were harvested was also being adversely affected. Who hasn't had a red ear slider turtle as a child? Remember the small plastic bowl with a fake palm tree? Whatever happened to that turtle? Most likely it died after a few months. If it survived longer than that, it probably became aggressive as these turtles tend to become as they mature. If it was a fortunate turtle, your local pet store took it back in trade. If it wasn't so lucky, you took it to your local pond and released it. If there were no known natural enemies in the area, it may have caused serious environmental damage to local wildlife. Oh, and did I mention, many farm-raised turtles are treated with copious amounts of drugs to control that bacteria they harbor, salmonella. Salmonella is contagious to people. Antibiotic resistance in this bacteria is now prevalent. Pets of any description are not toys. Before bringing any animal into your home, do your research. Are you prepared to meet its needs now and later when the novelty is worn off? Do you have the time and space that it requires? Are there veterinarians in your area who are well-versed in handling the species? Have more questions about that really neat hedgehog or other exotic pet? Before you bring it home, just ask your veterinarian.